Okay, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Everybody, he's got it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are headed to South Lake in Farmersville. If you're wondering about my awesome little hat here. Not a super common option, but wasn't able to find the sunscreen, and so the back of my neck, my ears, hopefully won't get burnt today because of the thing. I love this hat, by the way. My mother-in-law gave this to me beach vacation so thank you sue back to fishing um today like i said we're going to south lake in farmersville it's about a 50 acre lake that primarily is utilized by kayakers i think you can put um, a big bigger boat in there with an outboard but i think it's no wake you just kind of have to put around on it so i've heard good things about it i got this new stanley hopefully you can see that upside down but Stanley kind of these roof pads they go across there's two of them and the kayak sits on those pads and then you strap it down so far it seemed to work better than just throwing it on the top and hoping it doesn't fall but we are on our way got a little bit of a late start 704 sitting at a stoplight if you're from the McKinney area 380 is brutal even on a Saturday morning but anyways we'll see you guys in a bit people ask are four poles really necessary my answer is absolutely the reason is I'm out there and I want to fish a chatterbait if I want to fish a topwater or a popping topwater or a Texas rig that way you're not having to stop rework everything cut knots retie knots it's all you need maybe a little overkill but I think for now it's a uh, quite the setup Water is crystal clear, man. Literally, you can see all the way through it, crystal clear. Lots of folks out this morning. I'm still just amazed at how clear this water is. I mean, it is, visibility is easily 10, 12 foot. Okay, so I was fishing, backed up on these reeds, and this little guy is pretty aggressive. I felt something on my neck, it was a little gecko. Jeez, man. He's biting me. Look at him. He's biting me. Relax, bro. Relax, relax. First catch of the day. I wasn't recording because, to be honest, it's been pretty slow. Once again, nothing new here for me. Catching nitty bitty bass. Nice. 28 right there. Get back out there. All right. Probably the same exact fish. Oh, man. Cool looking fish, man. I love it when they throw their fins up like that. It's pretty cool to see fish like that. See ya. Essentially just working this shoreline a little bit. Kind of creating a triangle right here. And I'll just rotate a little bit each cast. I'm just letting it go all the way to the bottom. It's pretty deep to my right. Pretty close behind me. It's shallow enough though to get my anchor pole in the mud. So I'm anchored up right now. There is a little bit of a wind pushing me down this shoreline. But just taking a cast here bumping it off the bottom and just rotate 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 and then I come back this way and I picked up two fish doing that so we'll stop right here for a little bit longer and then we'll move on up shoreline
we go guys. Biggest fish of the day. Caught him on the white chatterbait. Okay, okay. There's fish. You just gotta figure it out a little bit. It's uh, 10.22 right now. Got out here around 7.45, 7.30. Uh, picked up three fish so far. So I was sitting there casting, casting, casting. I obviously wasn't recording. And then when I hooked up the fish, I hit the record button. So, but overall, man, it's been, it's been slow. There is a slight breeze, which makes it nice. It's pretty hot out here. But we're gonna keep on trying, guys. see some bullfrog eyes over there we're gonna Let's see oh yeah he's coming after it yeah we're gonna catch one here we go here we go okay now he's right where we want him he's right where we want him this is it right here okay he's got it he's got it he's got it everybody he's got it I told you Don't know if any of y'all have ever seen that before, but there you have it, people. A bullfrog will eat a worm, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Look at him. He's so big. All right, let's get this out of his mouth. There he is. There he is, everybody. Oh. Okay. Well... Wasn't expecting that today. All right, people, that was, I'm getting in the habit of just not catching fish, you know? I caught three fish. I gotta get better. But I did catch a bullfrog, and you saw that from start to finish, so that was kind of exciting. We are at one and only Sonic. I believe it was happy hour. I have a huge Route 44 water. I know, go ahead, tell me I'm lame, no fun, whatever. This was sounded like the most refreshing thing after being out there in the sun for six hours and catching pretty much nothing, so. It's amazing. We're gonna try and go back out tonight. Anyways, see you guys. Not sure how it's gonna get done, but there's the water. We're gonna have to make something happen. We have to do some work. Let's get it. Let's go. Here we go. Gotta go down that slope somehow. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Get this guy set up. Chair set up. Okay. Say the least, there uh, better be some fish here. this happen man let's go okay it's pretty shallow right here heck yeah brother we are gone let's go interesting I thought we would have maybe picked something up by now just because this place looks like no one's back here ever Mm -hmm. There's definitely life here. There's lots of turtles, lots of smaller fish, probably bluegill perch. Wow. There we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Golly, man. Jeez, I'm just like the master of the tiny bass. My gosh. That might be my new record. I mean, look, that... <laughs> That dude is little. That is a small, large mouth bass. See ya. Hey. 
Skunk is gone. On to the next. Let's get it. Let's get it on the main body of water. This is what I was looking at on Google Maps. There was a kid fishing there and he's he said he's caught some four pounders out of here. So we will put that theory to the test because as of now, we've caught a .25 pounder. Really shallow right here. Okay, there's at least one bass in here. At least one. Kind of lighter color. Nice. Okay. That's good. I like that. Look at that, number three. Yep, it's just that type of day, people. Small, small, small. Golly. Come on. We we'll catch something big. Something with big. Caught another fish. Tiny fish. But a fish, nonetheless. Am I right? Somebody give me some encouragement in the comments, please. Quantity's good, just not very big at all. Unfortunately. Guys, you won't believe what I just caught. No joke, man. Seriously, man. They are just unbelievable. Hey, man. Better than uh, no fish, though, I guess, huh? going on what's going on I decided to shower and whatnot before the outro I was exhausted it was dark I didn't feel like jacking with the lighting and all that so I just figured I'd wait till I got home but um, thanks for hanging with me today again if you made it this far it was a tough day again a lot of small fish bullfrog was you know a little pep in our step I guess a little bit something exciting for us but just an FYI um, I don't necessarily fish enough or I guess I don't have yet the experience enough to just slam them every single time. Sometimes obviously production is on the lower end of things. Bear with me. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the views. Obviously I'm not going to post a video if there's absolutely nothing in it. But there may be some here and there that struggle a little bit with. So anyways, despite all that, thankful for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, as always, I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. As always, guys, I'll see you next time.